Today, we're going to take a look inside the account of Chi, a player who up until this current KBK had over 100 million power, completely free to play. What's going on guys? Cheers. Now for the past year, it has seemed like Lilith has been trying to kill the free to play player. Many people have observed that it seems to be harder and harder to be free to play in Rise of Kingdoms. And then along comes Chi, a player in my kingdom, in my very alliance even, who competed with me in the Zenith of Power for the Atlantis skin. So when he reached out to me about being a free to play player, I instantly took him up on his offer and said, yes, please show me everything inside your account so we can show everybody else who wants to be free to play and actually compete in this game, how it's done. So first things first, let's take a look at his profile and we can see here that he is using the Germany civilization. Every free to play guy that I've made, every time someone asks me what civilization they should pick, I always tell them if you're an active free to play player, Germany is the way to go because of action point recovery. And this is even as an infantry player she does focus primarily on infantry but has been diversifying lately let's take a look at his kill points 605 million kill points with the breakdown being a majority t4 kills but a majority of the kill points being t5 really respectable breakdown here especially considering that he's really only started seriously field fighting very very recently he did let me know that a majority of his kill points comes from reinforcing rallies and garrisons because for the first like two years of his account he was primarily a t4 player and we're gonna get into that in just a moment but with that being said let's jump into his more info section as you can see here he did break the 100 million power barrier Barrier. he has 8.5 million dead troops 10 billion resources gathered 5 billion resource assistance 91,000 alliance helps we can take a look inside his commander view here he's got Cao Cao not expertise 5553 getting close there he does have an expertise Guan Yu he does have a 5524 Nebu and he has a 5551 Saladin we're gonna take a look at all of his commanders in just a moment so stay tuned for that that. So first things first, he's rocking the Atlantis skin right now, which is a Zenith of Power skin and it's not his only Zenith of Power skin. And we're going to take a look at that here in just a moment. So first, let's take a look at his items. Okay, what's he got in his inventory? You can see we've got not that many pick one chests, but we do have quite a bit of resources here on the profile. We've got quite a bit of VIP saved up here, presumably just from collecting from Alliance purchases. You can see a ton of Alliance credits here that he can claim. Keeping this in, in your inventory is actually a way Way that you can sort of barter with other alliances to put uh, have them put things in the shop that you might need so for example if you're going to you know migrate out of your kingdom and your alliance doesn't have any passports in there you can in exchange for them giving you the access to the passports for free you can actually use some of these alliance credits for them so that's a little trick if you guys didn't know that but he's got tons of gems saved in here in the profile i'm not sure why he's saving them here maybe because that means he'll be less tempted to actually spend them and maybe it's easier to keep track of it this way you can see we've got a decent amount of food a decent amount of wood some stone here as well way more stone than anything else it seems and we've got some gold as well now i did mention before that chi did push zenith of power when i pushed zenith of power so he had way more resources and speed ups than you're gonna see in this video just a few weeks ago so keep that in mind he's hoarded for a long time let's now take a look at some of these speed ups here it does look like he uh isn't that he isn't that stacked on uh on training speed ups at the moment obviously probably because of pushing uh zenith of power we do see um not that many research speed ups either we've got some uh healing speed ups here a lot of five minute speed ups which is nice and tons tons of universal speed ups really impressive stuff here considering again free to play player free to play player tons of speed ups left over and is a t5 91 million power player let's move on let's see what's coming up next this is probably what you guys have been waiting for but this is his commander breakdown okay you can see that he did go ahead and invest in constantine 5511 this is a great place to leave constantine i don't know if i would still recommend this as an investment for free to play players but it does help you in your canyon lineup tremendously you can see here that he has 
all purple equipment with the exception of the blue shield here on his Constantine none of it has talents and that's because pretty much all of his materials have gone into one incredible equipment set which we'll take a look at in a second you can see that he does have an expertise e song yay here really nice stuff right there fully maxed out looking beautiful took him to six stars took him to level 60. i'm not sure that that's something that i would recommend if you're free to play but still looking really beautiful here on the profile you can see no equipment because he's always going to be secondary we do have a fully expertise alexander the great here really great stuff no pun intended also no equipment on the alexander now alexander is a commander that i do think is worth taking to level 60 but i do believe that he primarily uses alexander as a secondary to his guan yu a really powerful damage dealing march in the open field for infantry completely completely devastates the competition a very valuable march to have as free to play obviously ethel fled you see there is totally expertise he does have some equipment on ethel fled which leads me to believe that he probably uses ethel fled as a primary for either killing barbarians or as a primary in the back row in a uh, canyon that's totally possible as well next we have the guan yu baby this thing is expertise he went all the way with guan yu and you can see here the equipment on this bad boy is actually insane i love to see this he's got the dagger he's got the ring he's got the gloves and the boots those are not Shio's return ladies and gentlemen those are the set boots for infantry so he does have three pieces of the infantry set here really awesome stuff unfortunately no talent on any of the legendaries that is a shame but we do see the talented blue shield the talented Kurox humility great pieces probably the best in slot pieces he could have that aren't legendary so really good prioritization here with uh, which pieces he took legendary as opposed to leaving as epics with talents you gotta love the ring of doom for that burst damage that you get there and of course the concealed dagger really enables you to put stacks on the enemy that helps everybody around you so really great choices for equipment as well moving on he does have that 5551 five, saladin which he's using as a primary to his william i believe we'll see that in just a moment and you can see that again he's primarily focused all on infantry okay all on infantry his saladin has all blue talented stuff here he doesn't actually show us what those pieces are but i imagine there's some wind swept in there it could be all wind swept he could have the expedition war helm it's hard to tell here but you can see here that he did actually take his martel to level 60. he did take his richard to level 60 as well which he doesn't show off in this video at all i don't think i would be willing to bet that his richard is either five one 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 or five five one one but you can see here that he must be doing barbarians a ton because he has literally every single almost every single uh epic commander level 60 which is crazy i think he's missing like cpo or something but he took dragon lancer to level 60 as well just for the meme looks like he's currently working on trajan sitting at level 56 which is nice stuff there here we can take a look at his william it's five 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 one really great investment left him at level 40 because he doesn't need him to be a prime commander we can also see the same thing for the leonidas here five five one one insanely good value also at level 40 always going to be a secondary commander we can see he's got the herald at five four two five really nice stuff there obviously a little bit of bad luck with that second skill it only applies to attacking cities and strongholds which he's not doing at all but he is slowly working on this herald every time the wheel comes around he's spinning for herald a little bit getting those sculptures that he can get so that's really important stuff there let's move forward see what he's uh, got going on next looks like we're gonna take a look at his city skin so he does have the atlantis city skin really impressive stuff there for zenith of power but that's not all he does have all of these different holiday skins which is great he has babylonian gardens as well 10 percent infantry attack he did go for this in 2021 so not in 2019 when it first came out so two zenith of power skins here on this free-to-play player really impressive stuff again we're in 1568 i don't know if he's been in this kingdom the entire time i don't think so but we also have top copy palace this is a kvk reward skin he went with the one that gives you the five percent action point recovery and as a bonus he gets 10 percent archer defense as well the action point recovery is crucial for free-to-play players so this is an incredible pickup for him 
he only loses 3% troop attack. But really impressive stuff here. The amount of holiday skins he has been able to obtain as a free to play player is truly incredible. So right now he's currently working on Trajan, Zhang Yu, and Nebu. Two of those are Wheel of Fortune commanders. So when the wheel comes around, he spins a little bit and he's been investing his gold heads into Nebu, who is 5524 already. He's hoping for the 5515. That would have been great luck, but unfortunately, he's so close. After he's finished with those commanders, he's probably going to go with a Pakal Herald focus, which he, he's already got his Herald pretty decently leveled up he does sometimes use an alex primary herald secondary in the open field to just get some quick burst damage on the enemy if he's popping out of his cindy just to tap them and hope for that proc from herald or alex or both ideally and just get some nice quick skill damage and leaving and going back to the city without getting swarmed and filling up his hospital so you might be thinking okay so why is he diversifying his troop type at this point he's got the atlanta skin he's got some incredible equipment on that guan yu you would think that he would just stay Stick with infantry and focus everything on that but he told me that up until this point that was his strategy but he's starting to diverge at this point because he realized that by focusing only on infantry he was having a ton of stone left over in his resources and that's just a waste it's just sitting there now sure he could send it to another player who desperately needs stone but he also realizes that it's important to be able to fill multiple different types of rallies and multiple different types of garrisons. He also realized that even though he was only ever producing iron here, for his infantry equipment, he still would have tons of leather and ebony left over just sitting there that he would get from doing events. And he figured he should actually be using that to make some equipment for other troop types. And so now he's been able to diversify into Saladin with William and again with Nebu Isongye. And he's had some nice success. When I asked him about his strategy for progressing as a free to play player, he basically told me that he never really competes in events when it comes to the event that gives Gives you 20 gold heads for example or mightiest governor events he never competes in those he will save and hoard his resources and his speed ups for a really long time like over a year pretty much uh, and then he will go all in on an event when he knows that he's going to place really well and that he has a really high chance of winning so as you can see he's gone for two zenith of powers and he's won the city skin both times really impressive stuff there so he basically is very conservative most of the time the reason he focused on infantry first and in building that super powerful one infantry march with guan alex is because it helps you a ton with altar fights so you can actually be useful in kvks in some form or fashion fighting the enemies because you can only ever use one army in those scenarios anyway so you might as well make it the best possible army that you can get so that was his strategy there also it's easier to just focus everything on a single type of equipment as well you could see his entire set was gold for his guan which was insane also it's useful to have one extremely powerful march for soroli ian's ballads events like that where you really get to take advantage of the dps from a single march and just perform in those events as best as you can to get the free rewards he also told me that he played as a tier 4 player for almost two years and only recently started fighting as a t5 player the reason for that is because he was spending almost all of his gems on during a more than gems event for vip because he wanted to hit vip 15 and only then did he start to spend his gems on other things now he spins the wheel of fortune a little bit for each commander when they come around I'm not sure what exactly he was going for with vip 15 most players stop at 14 because you get the third legendary head every single day uh, but you do actually get the healing speed the action point limitation some good stuff at vip 15 as well so that's where he stopped investing in vip with gems as a daily routine he said he basically never uses his action point pots in his inventory he just chains barbarians every single day saves those action point pots for the pre kvk marauders event which is advice that many content creators have given and many experienced players know is pretty much the best use still for those action point potions he said he grinds about 350 reward chests every single time that the marauders event comes around and that's again when he uses all of his ap to get as much of the rewards as he 
you can from that now he does have a single farm account that he said he barely logs into he mainly farms uh as many gems as he can on his primary account obviously you can't always farm gems so he is farming other resources as well and he says now that he is able to fight a little bit he basically saves all of his resource tokens here for when he gets into big fights in kvk his strategy for kvk open field fighting is to only use like one or two marches at a time so that way you don't get end up getting swarmed and filling your hospitals really really fast and again he really only just started becoming a serious fighter and you can see his account is 1076 days old which is actually insane that's basically three years of just straight grinding to getting to this point where he can really start to contribute really really well in rise of kingdoms in wars and up until this point he said he basically would just lose trades all the time he just couldn't fight in the open field and that's why he would just reinforce flags reinforce rallies and that was his strategy but his philosophy has been that even though he's losing trades what's most important is winning kvk it's not important that your account looks really really nice and that you have a really great stats it's about okay even though you're losing the trade are you contributing to winning the kvk that's what's most important especially as a free-to-play player and having that mindset Set is what is going to get you the win so if you guys are free to play players hopefully you can use cheese account as inspiration to continue your grind and get you to that point where you can start to have equipment that looks like this as a free to play player that's really impressive stuff it's also good to know that a lot of the advice that has been given to free to play players over the last couple of years still remains true and that it is still possible to be a really powerful free to play player in rise of kingdoms in 2021 despite all of the changes and all the things that lilith has done that seems to make it harder and harder for free to play players here we are we still have insane accounts like chi that are proving it's possible so thank you to chi for letting me show a tour of his account and hopefully inspiring you guys to continue your grind here in rise of kingdoms everybody comment down below letting chi know how much you appreciate him for this video while you're down there drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it as always if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video my social media links are all in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook and discord there's also a link to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc it's a program called blue sax 5 and it's the best way to play rise of kingdoms on your computer until we get that official release of course if you don't like it you can always uninstall it later but it does support the channel with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace